every week I help you find fun places to go with friends and family here in Jacksonville. I talk about local food, local craft beer, and local events. That's what I do. I know Jax. Eat local, drink local, and be local. I have a great show for you. Last weekend I was at the cooking stage at the home and patio show and had a great time. I'll share some of that with you. We're also going to find out about Moon Over the Market, the Haunted Forest at Caddyshack Ranch, and the Gadget Guy and I are doing whipped cream. But first, we're going to grill and chill with Corey from Epic Burger. Tell me what you're gonna make today. I know it's burger. What kind of burger you got for me? We are I know going, Epic. Yes, that's what it starts with. <laughs> you gotta start with Epic. Epic barbecue burger. Got it, okay, cool. What's that mean? It's one of the burgers that's on our menu all the time, and it's uh, barbecue sauce we make in-house, cider vinegar slaw, uh, onion ring, and cheddar cheese. Let's do it up, man. All right, cool. Show me how you do it. Well, in the restaurant, we don't use the char grill, but... But here we're gonna get the extra special flavor of that. Yes, right? which we thought would be great with a barbecue burger. Absolutely. This is uh, perfect for what, backyard barbecuing as mm -hmm. well as tailgating, right? We can tailgate with it. Yeah, minus, minus the onion ring. You need yeah. a restaurant with a oh, fryer. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need a fryer yeah, for that. Yeah. I, I was gonna ask you about what beer we were pair up with it, but uh, it looks like you've already got something going there. What do you... Yeah, what do you well, think? that's something different, but... Uh, I think just a good lager is nice with the barbecue burger. Yeah. Just something cool and refreshing. I'm drinking a sour. Sours are good too, if you can if you can handle a sour. I cannot. I, well, it's, I mean, it's not for everybody. Yeah. For sure. But it really goes good with. I like it with spicier foods. Yeah. And the the barbecue flavor is really good. So I I tend to do that with my barbecue. Yeah, they're definitely a popular beer right now. I, you know, craft beer in general is getting even more and more popular, which is cool. And there's a lot of choices. So. Oh, yeah. Go crazy, go crazy. I'm all about going crazy. So this guy's looking like it's about ready. It's ready. So uh, we're gonna dress it up here. We're gonna dress it up. That's one of our really big things at Epic Burgers, what we put Whoa. on the burgers. And you have so many different kinds too. About 34 combinations. 34, Besides the all? Yeah, besides <laughs> the build it your own. So uh, here we've got uh, our homemade barbecue. That looks great already. And then yeah. what's special about this slaw? It's just a cider vinegar slaw since so you got the sweet barbecue. Got you got a little bit, bit of sour tartness going on with the slaw. Cool. And then our beer battered onion ring. Okay. Which is also a gluten free okay. beer batter for what that's worth to you. And that's now, it. Now that. I think <laughs> I might have a hard time fitting in my mouth. You gotta. You call me. I, I know. You, you trying to tell me I'm a big mouth? You gotta push it, squinch I, it a little bit. I'm sure that's there's a there's definitely a technique to this. So if I go to the restaurant and order this, it is a barbecue burger. Yep. That's it. Straight up barbecue burger. That's it. Barbecue burger. Rivertown, First Coast's new hometown. I Know Jax was once again sponsoring the cooking stage at the Jacksonville Fall Home and Patio Show. And we had a packed program and started strong with a set of really cool food truck demos. had a long parade of chefs from different local restaurants who took the stage.
We ended the show on Sunday with a special contest. Two chefs took the stage and made fantastic meals using rescued food from the nonprofit Waste Not, Want Not. Our chefs were Matt Gilligan and Rosaria Camarada, and they made a delicious salad, scallops, and ended with a lamb chop. The dishes were fantastic. We never declared a winner, but as far as I can say, the people that were in the audience were the winners because it all tasted delicious. I still can't get over the fact that all of this food was going to be thrown away. I want to thank everyone who came out to see me and everyone who took part in the event. Thank you so much. Haunted Forest is great and it's been huge and getting better every year. Crafts and games underneath the building when you come in, it's all part of it. All the animals, now they're not in costume, <laughs> but they're all out looking to see the kids in costumes, sure. that excites them. And then of course, uh, a haunted trail in the, in the woods, which is optional. Right. We make it optional because some folks don't really want to get scared, but we keep the the theme going all throughout. If you're afraid of clowns, don't come. Don't come. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and who's the biggest clown walk, here? I, I, well, maybe me, I guess, probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So we went with our second most popular item, it's called Penang Curry, which for us is served in the traditional style, which means it's very carnivorous. Um, if you go to Bangkok and you get uh, Penang, most likely it's going to be just a lot of meat and a really thick, creamy gravy. Um, and so we serve it in the same pot style here. Right now we're in the midst of fall festival season. There are Oktoberfest, Oompa Bands, Wiener Dogs, and so many events going on in October that it's hard to keep up. Now it's all Greek to me, it really is. Every year at this time there's a very special festival in St. Augustine celebrating all things Greek. Now of course with a name like Talentino it goes without saying that I love Greek food. Uh, I'm just kidding. Talentino is not Greek at all, it is of course Italian and I can't remember how I got introduced to Greek food, but when you say Greek festival, I always want to go. <laughs> there will also be Greek music and dancing and lots of other fun and it all takes place at Francis Field in St. Augustine, October 12th through the 14th. Here's another yearly event that's very popular, especially with the younger crowd. The Haunted Forest at Caddyshack Ranch Wildlife Sanctuary. Now this is the first weekend for the event. You'll have the opportunity to check out the amazing big cats and other animals at the sanctuary. Then they have the scary trail of fears. There's also a touch lab for those who dare and arts and crafts for the kids and so much more. Dress up in your Halloween finest. The Haunted Forest takes place October 12th and 13th. Plus visit caddyshack.org for the complete schedule of the Haunted Forest. Most people say that 13 is an unlucky number, but that has to be wrong, right? It's just superstition. On October 13th, opening night this week for the Jacksonville Iceman hockey team. Now, I don't know if they need luck because I think they rely mostly on skill and talent. And this time the Icemen are facing the South Carolina Stingrays at the Veterans Memorial Arena. That's Saturday, October 13th at 7 p.m. Now I started out by promising Oktoberfest, and yes, I have one of those, and this one is actually the largest Oktoberfest in Florida. It's a two-day festival in Jack's Beach, and this big festival has live music on three stages, food trucks, beer, and fun. I saw that Side Reel and Red Jumpsuit Apparatus are performing on Saturday, and this festival draws a huge crowd. I think they had about 50,000 people last year. There's a lot of other things happening this week. Now I wanna remind you about Moon Over the Market at Jacksonville Farmer's Market. It's always a cool event with lots of delicious local food and I'm gonna be there so if you see me, come up and say hello. The Moon Over the Market takes place October 11th. Now for more ideas about fun things to do and to watch my videos, head over to inojax.com. I Know Jax has been nominated to four categories in Folio's Best of Jax contest. Best Local Blog, Best Instagram, Best Twitter, and somehow I got nominated as Best Personality. Now, no, I didn't bribe anyone. I have stiff competition, so if you want to see me win, vote often. Like every day. I'm up against Jalen Ramsey. Heck, I even voted for him. So I'm here with Jeff Spear, the Gadget Guy, and today we've got a lot of wisping things. We're going to talk about whipped cream today. <laughs> whipped cream. You know what? When I think about whipped cream, side note, what do I think about? I don't know, Joe. Banana <laughs> pie? Pecan pie? I don't know. I think of Herb Alpert. Uh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> well, never mind. Go get, get to it. All look right. it up for you youngsters out there. Google Herb Alpert and look at the album art. So the thing to remember is that as with every gadget that we show, there's good, there's bad, there's efficient, there's just... And then there's fun. And there's fun. Okay. So when it comes to making uh, whipping cream, this is the basic thing. This, this is a, a balloon uh, whisk. It's made by Rusla. It's got a nice weight. Rusla That's is- a lot of freaking work. Yeah, it is for whipped cream. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna buy a whisk, this is a nice one. Okay. Okay. And you need that in your drawer no matter this, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you should have a whisk. Uh, scrambled eggs, lots of things. Yeah. Um, there are, however, you may remember your grandma might have had this, or maybe even your ma. Strikes comes to mind every time you pick that thing up and not eat. Yeah. Look, it's an old-fashioned thing. It's made by Fox Run. And it is Mama. available. I don't recommend it unless you really Those like to play with really this. Easily too. Yeah. Now, there's OXO. Okay. OXO has gone from this. They went modern. They went very modern, and this has fishing rod technology. Okay. And so it's very easy. 
I don't think you're going to catch anything with that, though. No. no. And again, <laughs> pain in the butt. Still same, same deal. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to go with Those one jam, of them. I, mean, I don't know about the OXO one. This one definitely one, yeah. does. Yeah. But if you're going to go basic, this go is Go that it. way, yeah. yeah. Okay. Still manual. Now, you can go electric. Okay. And we have here, this is an immersion blender. Okay. This one's from Bombix. Those ones that make those big <laughs> noise. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But this is good for puree, pureeing soups, spaghetti okay. sauce, all kinds of things. And these tend to come with a container, so you can take the lid off, and then you put your cream in here, and then you can... I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. And it works out really well. Um, a lot of these also come with a food chopper attachment. It's so like, like a little, little mini, mini, mini processor. processor. Gotcha. That's cool thing and a couple of attachments so right um, but this is the Swiss line and okay. oh that's heavy it's heavy it's got a lot of oomph to it I like oomph. yeah I'm yeah. a big fan of oomph. yeah it's oomph and but the key is is that for the electric ones this is about $175 okay yeah, that's, so that's a real deal yeah okay. it's a real deal now for whipped cream there are two things to consider how light and fluffy do you want it or how firm and full-bodied I'm leaving all those tools uh, on the table. Okay. <laughs> so when you use any of these tools I've shown so far, you get a nice full-bodied cream. Right. Okay. This is a cream whipper. This is made okay. by either ISI or EC, depending on how you okay. know the company. You unscrew it. Now I've got some uh, cream here already on ice. Okay. This, what, what do you put in your cream? Okay. This is, it's two cups cream. Okay. It's a couple tablespoons of sugar. Okay. And about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla. Okay, and so you just funnel it into the bottle. Okay, so the thing about this is it, this is one of the easiest ways to dispense cream. Um, seal it up. Okay, you undo this oh, part. Thanks. Gas cartridge, you get these at the kitchen okay. store. Okay, and is that, what is that, nitrous? I think it's, I think it's nitrous oxide, yeah. So anyway, you put that in. You want to make sure before you screw this down, make sure your top's tight, on tight, yeah. okay? And then you might hear it. Yeah. Okay, that's the gas going in. Once the gas is discharged, there's a little bit of excess there that comes out. Oh, you're done already? Well, you can take this and just chuck it. Gotcha. And then they have a little decorative cap that you can put over here so it's not okay. in the way. Just pick it up. You got want to give this a really good shake. I've done this before, and if I didn't shake it enough. Now, while, while you're shaking that, I'm going to let everybody know that if you're interested in any of the gadgets that you see here or you've seen in any past episodes, you can go to the iknowjacks.com slash gadget guy. We're gonna have all of these here, links to where you can buy them and more details about them as well. So I always like to take this and squirt it out just a little bit, just to make sure it's fluffy. It is. Okay, so now you, now you can see that, yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait. But look. You're, you're, so I always like to end episodes, you know, with a glass of wine or uh -huh. something. And so we might as well do this. Yeah, just, uh -huh. just, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Joe's a little indisposed. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to vote for me and subscribe to The Insider so that you can win a trip to Las Vegas. I'll be back again next week. But before then, I'll see you on the internet. <laughs>